Welcome to another Creative Photo Workshops photo tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial we're going to look at converting this photo of Mario, just a lovely window lit portrait, and change it from a colour shot to a black and white with quite a lot of edge and as someone described it, quite a painterly feel to it. We're going to do this by uh, a series of conversions to both black and white, we're going to incorporate textures like the one you see on the screen at the moment and to get the effect uh, of Mario st standing out from the, sh from the shot uh, we're going to use a series of both sharpening and softening techniques to try and highlight Mario's face. So first and foremost I want to create a new layer. Do that just by dragging, dropping this down to the new layer icon and as easy as that we've got a new, new layer. I'm going to go down next, I want to sharpen the image. I want to really make this image pop as far as uh, image sharpness goes. And I've gone to the Unsharp Mask Filter. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see on the screen behind us here straight away, this is a fairly strong filter already. I'm going to pop that right up to about 80% and really make Mario very bold in the shot. Let's just save that. A little comparison between shot A and shot B. Incredibly bold amount of sharpening there. Now yeah this is obviously it's really starting to highlight Mario's face but what I see straight away is things like the ears here, uh, the bulging neck down the side down here are kind of looking a bit too strong for my liking as well so I'm just going to get an eraser, pop it up to a reasonable size I'm just going, just going to work over just a couple of these areas that straight away strike me as being drawing my attention a little bit on the hand there, let's just kind of work some of that background there as well because if you want to make that background sort of out of focus later on there's no point sharpening it now. Let's work down here as well on the fingers and that back ear there. So straight away, a little comparison there, certainly Mario's face is very rapidly becoming quite a focus of, uh, of the shot. Next thing I want to do is convert this image from colour to black and white. So I'm going to go down here to the uh, Create New Fill or Adjustment layer and press black and white. And straight away we're already into a, a reasonable looking black and white. It's certainly got a lot more impact than the colour shot had uh, as far as focus for the face. But as always the Photoshop black and white default tends to look a little, hot, little on the flat side. So what I tend to do is just go through the, all the different filters here and just find one that suits this particular image. What I find is that each image has a, a look to it that a particular filter will help bring out a different way. I kind of like the green, as we saw before, the blue filter, extremely unflattering. Green filter looks pretty good, I kind of like that. But we'll just have a look through the others just to see what they do. High contrast red's a little bit too light. Light and filter's okay. No, I think we're going to stick with the green filter. It's got quite a nice edge to it. I'm just going to check one other thing. If I change the ooh, screen opacity, no, that just brings my colour back in, so that's no good. Okay, what I want to do, I just want to lighten Mario's face up just a little bit. So I'm going to go down to the new adjustment layer again, bring up curves, and just push this up. Maybe just give me a little bit of an S curve into there. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. Let's have a look at the before and after. Just adds a little bit more punch to the image once again. Okay, I'm starting to look like the way that looks. What I'm going to do now is go to Select All, Copy Merged, and Paste. And what that does, that copies all those uh, filters and effects we've done all the way through all those different layers and just merge it into one layer. So I can now go in and turn these little icons off and very simply do a before and after look at the shot. Okay, well I think that's enough for part one. We've, we've done a, a fairly successful conversion. Next step we'll start looking at uh, working on the image a little bit more and then we'll look at adding our layers and uh, our textures to it.